Now here's the first pitch. Here's a hard hit ball back up the middle and a base hit so he goes after the first pitch he sees and he's on to open up the inning. Man these guys have been aggressive here early in the count. Some people think oh you might want to take a pitch to start in that bat and sometimes that's great and it works out for a lot of people but what you should be thinking is I got to swing at strikes and I got to get my pitch and if it happens to come on the first pitch let it rip and a sliding attempt to try and knock it down but it's by him a base hit. Yeah it's not too often that you'll see a first pitch hit and run but it worked out here. Usually you see it when the batter's ahead in the count 1 0 2 and 1 sometimes even one and one but they roll the dice right away and it pays off perfectly. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. Goodness. 0 and 2 now. Tough spot here for a left handed hitter facing a guy that's exceptionally tough on lefties. Yeah you generally get so many at bats right handed pitching so they get the out at first but the run will score on the suicide squeeze. Starlin Castro will stand in. He homered back in the fifth inning of this one. Here's the first offering. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one one and oh. Now the one oh. And this is knocked down on the mound. And the throw will be too late as he can't recover in time. Addison Russell will get another crack. One for three thus far. And here's the first pitch. And the runner's coming home. Right on, but this is foul down toward the box at third. Runners are at first and third, one away. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. Chased a low ball there, and he's quickly down in the count 0-2. Uh, now you got to beware of that sinker. I mean, he'd take a strikeout right now, but I think he still just wants this guy to hit the ball on the ground. I uh, had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Another 0 and 2 coming. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle to second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Only one in the inning for the Cubs. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Cubs 7 and the Cardinals 2. Matt Carpenter will stand in to lead things off as the top of this batting order really hasn't been much of a factor so far. Yeah, and between the top three guys in this lineup, no hits between them. And you got to figure you're not going to win too many games when that's the case. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. This man out for a second inning of work, and why not? He set him down one, two, three the last time around. All right, and, and with two strikeouts mixed in there as well. So let him keep going. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. Boy. No messing around here in this ninth inning. And that's a closer's mentality. They're not usually the best at setting guys up. They're going to come right at you with their best pitch, and that's usually a fastball. The left hitter, number seven. Matt Holliday will stand in now, and he's been kept quiet out of the number three hole, hitless in his three at bats so far. And here's a fastball called for strike one. And you can see him trying to be a little bit more patient. Meanwhile here, this ball's given a pretty good ride out to deep left field. And that is going to clear the wall. A home run. So a two-run shot for Matt Holliday. And it's now a 7-4 to four ball game. I want you to check out the location of where this pitch is in the strike zone. It's up and it's right down the middle. I, I mean, maybe you get away with that to a 220 hitting backup catcher, but not to a guy like this. Now batting, the first baseman, Matt 
Adams. Here's Matt Adams now. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. This is up the middle, and it'll be a base hit over the bag and into center field. Jason Hayward will dig in now. One for two to this point. Now time is called, and this might be to buy a little time for that reliever to get loose. Here's the first offering. And a ball 1-0. and oh. Would you say he's not really finishing his pitches at this point? That's a good way to put it. It looks like he's aiming a little too much, and that's not working for him. 2-0 count, the pitch. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2-1. and one. Yeah, you know, he probably got the fastball he was looking for, but on 2-0, and oh, you can look for one pitch in one spot. And if it's not in that spot, you take it. Alcantara will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Yadier Molina will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number four, Yadier Molina. Hector Rondon is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Up and in there with the first pitch fastball. It's ball one. Surprised that there's no pinch hitter here? Shock is more the word for me. You're losing, but you're letting a reliever hit? I just don't get it. And 2-0 oh as this one's taken low. From the stretch. Lays off a fastball, but it's over for a strike. 2-1. Two and one. A 2-1 offering. Fouled back. The 2-2. Two -two. Uh, well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. Going to be extra bases. And he's not stopping as third base coach Jose Akendo is waving him in. And the runner will score from first. And if you're going to work away with a two-seam fastball, which I don't think is the best pitch anyway, you better start that thing out of the zone and let it work its way back to the corner. Here, as you can see, he starts it on the corner. So you know what's going to happen. It's going to leak right back out over the heart of the plate. And that's a mistaken location, pure and simple. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. Come set. Now the pitch. Grounded fouled off to the right side. Three runs already home here. Pause. Now the pitch. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Boy, at the very least, if you're going to go down, go down swinging. That's a tough way to make a second out when you've got a runner in scoring position. Tony Cruz will step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance at redemption. Ah, and meanwhile, this pitch gets away from him. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. Well, yeah, this is going to be a pitch in the dirt. And as a runner, it's hard sometimes to tell whether you should advance or not. But I think the And he'll put this one away without much trouble. And the Cubs will add one more to their winning streak as this ball game is over. And at nine games, I said this streak could go on for quite a bit longer. Sure enough, now it's up to 11. And the way they're playing, there could be no end in sight. take our lead. Time for a look at our final line score here in what turned out to be a close two-run victory. And 
and the Cubs were led tonight by the offensive exploits of this man, Starlin Castro. Strike a pose. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, I think in the end, this really could have been anybody's award. But what the heck? Let's go ahead and give it to this guy. He's as deserving as anybody. So that'll just about do it. For Eric Harrow, Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. The Cubs win this one 7-5. to five. Good night from Chicago. Chicago Cubs, seven runs on ten hits. No errors. We left three men on base. For St. Louis, five runs. Seven hits, no errors. They left three men on base. The winning pitcher is Jake Arrieta. His record is now two and one. Loss goes to Carlos Villanueva. He falls to 0 and 2. Time for the ball game: three hours and 26 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at Wrigley Field, 45,936. As always, we thank you for your support of Chicago Cubs baseball and remind you to please drive home safely.